What's up guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a comparison video for you of the new PS3 Slim versus, well I guess what you can only call the old PS3 Fat. That's the 60 gigabyte version there on the right. Let's go ahead and check out the size of these two and see how they stack up. From the side and the front of the device you can see that there are pretty big differences, especially in the girth of it. When you look at the top, that's really where it's most noticeable. Pretty substantial thickness here, not so thick right there. Size is obviously the big difference between these two consoles. The PS3 Slim is quite obviously much slimmer. But you probably knew that. Let's take a look at the design of the two and see really where some of the differences lie. So we'll lay both of them flat again take the fatty version, which is much heavier, I shouldn't tell you, by the way, than the slim guy. And here is kind of where you can start to see some of the bigger differences. On the slim, you've actually got physical buttons for eject and power on. On the older, outgoing PS3 model, these are actually touch-sensitive buttons for eject and power on. So that's sort of one change that they made. Also, it's both of them are still front loading. This one sort of almost had an upward tilt. This one looks a little more flush. Both have two USB ports that are found down below. So two right there, two right there, both on the right hand side of the devices. If we turn them around, you can start to see a little more difference as well. And you can also see the size between the two. So on the fatty PS3, if you take a look at the back and the ports that are available here, you've got that Sony proprietary video cable that connects to a component, composite, uh, whatever you want. You've got your optical out, HDMI, Ethernet power, and the power port, and the power on off switch. On the back of the PS3 Slim, You've got sort of that same array of ports, but the only thing that's missing is the power switch. So that's gone when you plug it in and you turn it on, it's turned on, there's no need for an on-off. Interestingly enough, even though this doesn't have a power switch to be turned off, it does use significantly less power than the fat version. So from an aesthetic standpoint, it's really going to depend on what you prefer, whether you like the piano black, sort of glossy feel, fingerprint magnet of the outgoing PS3, whether you prefer the slim, sort of matte feel, of the new slim version. They both do exactly the same thing. This one has a little bigger hard drive, but they're both user replaceable, so you can put them on any even keel. Definitely gonna come to a personal preference. Both are gonna run you $299, and I think a very fair price is $299. I think that you're getting one of the best firmware upgradable Blu-ray players, and you also get the ability to play games if that's your thing. So guys, hope you enjoyed. This is John Rettinger for technobuffalo.com. For exclusive content, be sure to check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.